Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the month again, the upgrade number 37 and it's got a nice splash of yellow on the box. I have high hopes for this box. It feels weighty, it's not busting out the seams and I just hope the supplies are much better than last month. Um, they sent me an email saying that the uh, upgrade box had been delayed because of um, strikes and stuff like that. And they said, but the next two boxes won't be. But they can't really guarantee that, can they? And who says I'm going to get more boxes? Because if this doesn't live up to expectations, I will be cancelling. So, enough of me blabbering. Let's get into it. Oh, and there's that little... I still don't know what that is. Is it supposed to be an apple or a pig's nose or a pair of eyes? On the older upgrade boxes, it was like a treasure chest. They used to have a keyhole. I think I prefer that design better. So, let's rip this off. Yes. Off in one, off in one, off in one. Oh, yeah, I did it. Oh, and I'll have to slice that bit off and get me trusty finger cutter. Where are you? There you are. Sit. Ooh, exciting. Ooh, lovely yellow tissue paper. Put that to one side. I'll empty the box. Anyway. So Upgrade is a monthly subscription box. It comes from Germany. It costs £25 and £2 postage and packaging. And is it every box that plants a tree? Does it say um, participate in the blah blah? I don't know. But the, the inside of the box is much better than the bland outside. Can you see? So enough about the... Oh, wait. And you can take these things out that pop out. <laughs> right. So, get that out of the way. Otherwise, Ziggy will be jumping on my table. Oh, I like that. I thought it was a mermaid. Might be a mermaid with uh, legs. Or just women swimming in the sea. Are those koi? Or catfish? Yes, I like that. Um, now, by looking at it here, I think it's markers. Just, I'll just take my glasses off. I like to guess by looking at the artwork to see what's in the boxes. Yes, it looks a lot like markers. That design's interesting. What's it? All bag upgrade. Yes, it does look like markers. Quite like those designs. Hello, I'm Albert. You may know me as Al Albag. Albab. Yeah, Albab. <laughs> Not an old bag. On social media, I work as a visual artist for video games, board games, comics, but I am also an author. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to check her out. Yes, I quite like her, her designs, her illustrations. Very colourful. Right, so what's this paper we've got? Oh, wow. We've got a whole pad instead of three scabby bits of paper that I got last month. Um, and that's got an interesting design of an old-fashioned camera. Uh, oh, Bristol. Authenticipad. Well, I don't know, I'm not pronouncing that properly, but I never can. Bristol sketch pad. Best for pencils, pens, inks, markers, very smooth and white. 185 GSM, 15 sheets. See, 15 sheets. Wow, I can't believe what they are splurging out this month. A5 acid free. 
And it's SML Tart. Hmm, strange name. Yeah, so I think I'll open that up now. Can I open it? No, I'll have to get my trusty thing. I've got her again. Oh, I love the sound of that crackling. Right, put this away. I quite like this pad, the design. So it's cardboard on the front. Oh, it opens up like a book. Looks like recycled cardboard. And it feels like cardstock. Thick, smooth paper. I love paper. Yes. So that's that. And this is the stickers. Oh, they're quite nice as well. Ooh, boobies. Some foxes fighting. Snakes and koi. Oh, that's a shame. They're just, mind you, it's more like a Inktober design, that. Yes, quite like them. Right, let's get into the supplies. Put my glasses back on. Mm, I'm going to have to cut this. I'll rip the tissue paper. It's a tough sticker, that. Come on, get off. Right. Right. Oh, what's that? Spectrad. Oh, I thought it was going to say Spectrum Noir. Never heard of that, let's see. Seems you get more in this month than you did last month. Right. So what are these? Spectra Ad. Never heard of them. Double-ended alcohol markers. Alcohol marker. Oh, that's a foreign. Upgrade edition. Six of a kind. Right. Let's see. Oh, I like this uh, plastic wallet. Seems quite sturdy. I'll keep keeping them in that. Oh, they've got a little um, indentation there. So I suppose it's easier to take the lids off. Sniff test. Oh, oof. smells like nail varnish remover. I quite like um, the barrel of these pens. It's a, it's a nice design. They're not round, so they're not going to roll all over the table. Yeah, they've got these um, grooves in them. Very nice. I'll see how they work. What does it say on the pen? Yellow ochre. Made in China. Conforms to... And all these numbers are non-toxic. But they stink. Oh, well, I'll try them out just now. Oh, wait, what do you get? You get a blue. Let's read the proper word. You get a Colombian blue. Um, an Arctic blue. Um, let's see. Straw yellow. A spring green. A pink beige. No red. Green, yellow, blue. Oh, no red. 
Yellow oak. Oh, I would have liked the red. Hmm. Right, so what's this? I thought that was a... Do you call it a Posca? That would probably be similar. La Pluma. Pigmented. Opaque ink. Made in Japan. White. Clean nib when finished. Mavi. La Pluma. Hmm. Research them. Open it. There's the nib. Yeah, it reminds me of a Posca. Sniff. Well, I won't sniff of anything yet because I haven't conditioned it. Shake it. Press it down. Yeah. Try these out just now when I do swatches. Oh, pencil. Love a pencil. Um, what's this say? Uh, Brunzeal, I've heard of this before. Colour. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a green. Um, it just says number 27. It doesn't say what colour it is. But must be something similar to that. A bluish one. Oh, and a red. So we did get red, but in a pencil. Hmm. And what's this one? Another white pen? No, it can't be. It'll just be a black liner, won't it? Yeah. Multi liner. And this is for drawn Marvy Uchinder. It's a 0 0.3 non toxic pigmented ink, acid free, waterproof, photo safe, archival quality. Always good to know. I'll do the sniff test. Oh, look at that. One of my pencils is broke. Is there. Did I see it in the box? No. Well, they've sent me a broke pencil. Because the, um, what do you call it, the nib or the lead or the colour, that's not in the box. So I'll sharpen that. Right then, should I do some swatches? Get my pencil sharpen up. I hope the lead's not broke right the way through because that's just a nightmare. Ooh, they're rolling all over. Did I sharpen that too much? Right, let's see. Yeah, just a bit too much. Well, it seems uh, stable enough. Test it when we draw on. Right, move that to one side. Try this paper out. Right, so this is the blue. Scrolling a bit more. Oh, well, they feel nice. Yeah, they feel quite nice going down, not scratchy. Hmm. few crumbs but I think that's where I've sharpened it. Right, see if it smudges. No. Next one. Oh, look. I didn't even put, hardly put any pressure on that and it's just came out. 
Right, sharpen that. Ugh. Well, these seem crappy, don't they? Well, they do feel nice to use, but that red, um, at least it looks like, looks like, what do you call it, post box red. It's uh, very light. So, let's see, going over it again. Right. Next pencil, hopefully that doesn't snap, just say, no, that seems more secure. Oh, and I think that's a yellow ochre. Two yellow ochres in a box. Hmm. Oh, nearly on the floor. Yeah, it was uh, very light, like the red, but just layer over the top and it darkens up. Uh, can you see? Right, I'll try mixing the blue and the red. Oh, squeaky. I felt a bit of resistance, maybe it's because I'm doing it wrong. Try again. Put the red down first. And go over with the blue. What do blue and red create? Is it purple? You see, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue about the colour wheel. Right, let's see. Has it gone purple? No, it's just stayed blue over the road. Hmm. But, I mean, it's not paint, is it? So, but still. Um, has it gone shiny? Right, enough with the pencils. Right, shake this um, possible looking pen. How long do you shake them for? Is it about 15 seconds? Is anyone counting? Has it been 15 seconds yet? Amy Bingo wings are wiggling all over. Right, let's see. Am I doing this properly? Right, what does it say on there again? Let's see. 
shake it, press it down, and then draw your line. That's not coming out yet. Ooh. Right, have another go. Do it over the colour. There, it's coming out now. Right, let's go over the colour. We have to clean it. Oh, that's what it looks like on my finger. Did I do the sniff test? Doesn't well. Oh, it smells like Chipex. I wonder if that's what it is. Right, let's see. What's that look like? I'll just take my glasses off. Oh, no. It's not as strong as a Posca. Um, in the blue, John, if you can see, I've went over it and you can still see the blue underneath. And the red as well. And the yellow. Hmm, yes. I'm not impressed with that. Posca would be better, but maybe if you use it a few more times, it might um, be better. What's that? Right, let's watch the pens. Is this the yellow orca? Oh, brush pen. I love a brush pen. Chisel tip. I'm not so fussed with chisel tips, but um, they do have the use, don't they? They're like calligraphy, and you can make all these fun lines. Feels a bit scratchy, this one, with the. What colour was this one? Oh look, glasses off again. Oh, and you can smell it. Pink beige. Yeah, the brush tip uh, feels very nice, but the chisel is a bit scratchy. Oh, that doesn't, uh, that's more smoother, that green one. Must just be the colour. Oh, it does feel nice though, that brush. I'm going out of focus, Anna. And this yellow is very, very pale. You can hardly see it. Oh, does it? Yeah, it does. It tells you which side. That's the chisel and that's the brush. And now just space here. That feels a bit scratchy. Feels nice. Oh, I'll just look in the lids. Because sometimes when you push it in, if the lid's not proper, you bust your brush. But that seems fine. Oh, that seems... Oh, I don't like that. Very scratchy, that one. But the brush pen's very nice. 
Uh, just show you this. That I don't like that. That yellow, very light. I love the green. It's a really nice colour, like a sap green. Not so fussed on that either. And the oak is nice. And the blues are okay, I guess. Right, so let's have a look in the um, magazine. Where was the prompt anyway? It's at the back, yeah. Mystical Interaction. Oh, that's an interesting prompt. Upgrade 37. Extended set. So do you have to pay extra for like an extended set? Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't think I'd bother with the extended set. Well, what's these? Are they... Um, sorry, my nails. Are they markers or pencils? I think they're pencils. Well, I'm not uh, overly keen on the pencils. Right, let's see. So even though I'm doing Scrawlatober and Inktober, I think I will do the prompt out of this. Right, what's this? Hey, up creators. Now it's almost autumn again. Ooh, I prefer spring. That means for us to pack the, unbun the bundle summer feelings into a box and create colourful things. Don't worry, our winter will not be colourless. We have mixed media for you and hope to see lots of different artworks with little playful elements, especially this month. It is a perfect exercise to let your thoughts run free and to put your all your little ideas on paper. In the end, a big hole emerges. A big hole emerges from many small ideas, like life itself, like a day in your life. What does that say? AMH, just order upgrade for all in one. Hmm. I don't think I'll be carrying on with this subscription. Maybe um just one more, do you think? But um Oh, is there a purple? How many? Two, four, six, two, four, six. So what colour did I get instead of the purple. Oh, I would have preferred a purple. That, I don't know if you can see in the picture. Right, let's see. Is that supposed to be that? I know it looks different uh, when you're on the video, the colours can look different and when you're taking pictures. Maybe it's just my eyes. But I thought that was a purple because it looks lilac -y. And that was just the um, lids from this. But it is lilac. Oh, yeah, so you didn't get a purple. Right. No, I won't read all this, but. Colour palette of 215 colours. Wow, there's 215 colours. Toxicological safe. Can't pronounce that, as you can hear. Both tips interchangeable. Oh, that's handy. Caps colour coded with colour number and name. Refillable. Oh, that's really good. If they're refillable, so there's no waste chucking the plastic out. Um, did it say anywhere the light fastness of them? Um, sketch no brands. <coughs> no, <clears throat> can't see anywhere where it says the light fastness. Hmm. I'll have to do my research into that one. Um, <clears throat> 
Oh, what's that? That's a strange looking thing. Oh, does it? Here's the prizes here. La Plume Pigment Liner. There I thought was a Posca. £2.50. Well, I think I would prefer... I mean, I've got loads of Poscas. I'd prefer just to stick to the Posca. Because I don't think that's very good. But, as I say, if I, the more I use it, the better it might get. Um. Oh, no, that's that. Oh, my God, yeah. La Plume Pigment Liner. It was the liner pen. Where are you? That was two fifty. Oh, I didn't try that out, did I? Right, let's do this now. Yes, it's just a pigment liner. Let's see. Oh, it feels a bit lumpy when you're going over that. Um, what do you call it? The pigmented white marker. But what's it look like? Yeah, fine. Over the red. I'll just do a um, and I'll have to wait for it to dry, won't I? I'll put the white over these markers. See, they might be better over the markers than over the pencil. <clears throat> right, let me see. I mean, it hasn't dried yet. Oh, no, it's... Um... When it's gone over the, I don't know if you can see the that pinky colour. You can still see the pinky colour underneath. No, I don't think that's up to much. And it's gone over the, maybe if I do a thicker line you'll be able to see more clearly. Of the black liner. Because it's gone over the black liner, and you can still see the black liner through it. Right, I'll just... Oh, I just want to do with this as well, see if this smudges. Yes, but um, I didn't let it dry, I just wanted to see what would happen. Right, so just blow on this. Right. Has it smudged? No. Right. Get that whitey. Right, let's see. No, I don't like that. It's, uh, I'll put it over the black and you can still see on that third line there, you can still see the black through it. And the second line's gone a bit dirty. No, I'm not impressed with that pen and I definitely wouldn't pay £3.90 for it. But what's it like over the markers? No, it's not as good as a Posca. Yeah, over there, coloured pencil, it just looks dirty, like a dirty white. And you can still see the green through. Yeah. No, I'm not impressed with that. So, that's... So, that was £3.90 euros. Uh, and the line marker, €2.50 euros. I've never heard of that brand, Marvi Uchida, Uchida, but um, and how much are these, does it tell you the brush pens, but there's all the colours you can get, and I mean they're really good being refillable, because they're those, 
Is it the Uhoha Uhoha Uho Uha or whatever pens they're called? I don't think they're refillable are they? And they're pretty reasonably priced. Um I can't see where it says how much those are. Hmm. Our brand, Marview Chider, since it's established in 1973, oh, that's a long time, carry a wide range of quality writings and colouring instruments for office, hobby and craft and art and any creative scene. Our hope is that every customer has the chance to use our pens and markers to add a little bit of quality to our life. No matter the occasion or the reason, we were all intended to create in colour. And there's the website. Can you see? Instagram and Facebook. Hmm, I will definitely be doing my research. Right. The Brunzel Design Colour, £1.40 a pencil. Superior quality pencils, yeah, well, I don't think so, but it might be just, I wonder what other people uh, think about them. Um, with perfectly coordinated colour range, specifically designed for those who require the best possible drawn and colouring products, the extra thick 3.0M colour car. Well, unfortunately, you can't see the end, so you can't even see if it's centred. Um, just looks like a normal pencil to me. Um, is made of fine, high-quality colour pigments, so that the colours transfer very well. Easy for applying several layers. Um, how many layers can you get, do you think? Let's see. Right, one, two. Oh no, it's starting to resist on the third one. Oh, you can even hear the pencil struggling. Well, but it has gone a darker red. I quite like that red. Much better than when I first laid it down. So I'd say about two to three layers. Right, let's see. So they're one pound, uh, 1.40 euros. The sketch pad, I quite like that. Um, let's see, let's see. Open, independent and socially responsible brand with a unique attitude to products, people and business. A very young brand in, the fine, in a fine market that has already won hearts of artists in over 30 countries. They have built a strong community under the Instagram account SML Tart, <laughs> uh, where they share our life and joy. Everyone who draws and shares artwork with blah blah can be seen by their team. They value every work, every opinion, every product they create comes from their artist shared experience, ideas, and wishes. Ooh, bold statement. Oh, what's all these different ones? Oh, I can't see. Um, oh, I like all the designs and it's quite funky. You get a bee and a tree and an eagle. Someone in a gas mask. A house, some mountains and a well. Also, I wonder if um, other people who got this box got uh, the different designs on it. But mine's quite nice. Oh, it's that one, it's a B. Um, does it say the price? 3.50 euro. 
Well, it seems quite nice to work on. Right. Oh, I thought that was uh, Billy Eilish, one of her uh, just a glance. Um, I'll have to check her out because I like her artwork. Hello, I'm Alba. Yeah, it's quite interesting and colourful. What she's saying about her models. I'll try to impress you. I can do a chin-up. I have two models in the neck that look like vampire bites. <laughs> I started tattooing recently and while I draw I always be watching the worst movies you can imagine. I can't watch movies while I'm uh, drawing or doing any artwork. Puts me off. I can listen to music now and again. Sorry for the cringe. Um. Oh, I like the blue. It reminds me, well, the border reminds me of, uh, what is it, Art Nouveau? And I'll read that with a cup of tea later. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Like that. It's like a little Groot, but not. Oh, a little hearts all joined together. Oh, an onion. Yes, it might be a little onion. Well, oh my word. I've been talking now for 41 minutes. So I'm sure I've sent the majority, majority of you to sleep. So... I will definitely be doing the prompt and I'll read this book thoroughly and get more acquainted with the materials. Oh, is that from... I don't know which month that's from. Yes, yeah, so... I'm not overly... Well, I'll just show you what was in the box, but you know... So there's the stickers, the artwork, the book. Um, I rate that as a zero. I'm not impressed with that. I mean, for three pound, well, three euros ninety. I don't know how much. Probably like three pound sixty, something like that. But I'm not overly impressed with that. I'm not overly impressed with the pencils. I've used better. Um, I do quite like the markers. I like the whole design of them, the barrel and these little nick things, quite quirky. Um, chisel, alright. Uh, the brush pen I uh, liked much better. Um, I mean the colour selection, I would have preferred a red, but what can you do? Nothing! So, yes, I will do the challenge. And then get back to you in another video. Oh, the liner, yeah, it was all right i guess um so that's what you got not that um so thank you for watching oh look it's not in proper frame the thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and you are still awake i wonder how many of you got to the end johnny signing out see you bye